Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I just spontaneously decided to start another Stephen King reading vlog. Tonight, I'm going to start Night Shift because I was originally going to save this book for October, but it is finally fall and it just feels like the right time, especially because earlier this month I DNF'd Mr. Mercedes and so the vlog for that video is pretty much cancelled at this point. So I thought I would still try and deliver on the Stephen King reading vlog for the month of September and we're getting into these last few days of September now and it's finally fall and tonight it's been pouring rain like earlier it was freaking pouring rain so loud and it was really windy all day and tonight we're supposed to be getting thunderstorms around like midnight this is the universe telling me it's time to read a spooky book and what better spooky book than Stephen King's first collection of short stories and so I had assumed that I thought there was only like five short stories in here but I think it's actually a lot more than that. Here is the table of contents. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Is that all the short stories that are in this? Holy crap. So because there's so many stories within this tiny little book, I'm going to try to keep most of this vlog spoiler free just because if you might be interested in reading this book, I want you to still be able to watch this video if you haven't read this book yet. But I might include some spoilers throughout this video, but if I do, I will definitely put a spoiler tag over the screen so you'll know when to skip over. But I'm excited and, and I didn't realize that this had that many short stories in it, so it makes me excited to see what different kinds of stories we're going to be getting within this book because this book is only like 300 something pages like it's not a very long book itself so the fact that there's that many short stories is pretty surprising honestly but I figured how I would do this is I would just like read a short story and then update you on my thoughts and give each little short story its own like rating and review kind of and yeah I don't know hopefully there's some spooky shit in here I've heard some pretty good things about this collection I've heard from a lot of people that this is their favorite Stephen King short story collection I've actually read um what's it called a bizarre bad dreams i read that book a while ago it was one of the first stephen king books i i ever read um and i really enjoyed that one so i am hoping to enjoy this one as well so let's get to the spookiness wow amazing amazing okay um i've heard in stephen king books like aren't you not supposed to read the introduction because or like the forward aren't you not supposed to read these before you read the books they like spoil you at least that's what i've heard from a lot of people that stephen king's like forwards or introductions kind of like spoil his books because this is like a reprinted version of the night shift you know and i think this is this one was printed in like 2012 or something so he prints a forward in front of it that kind of like talks about the book i think and it has like spoilers maybe for the book i don't know i've heard that you're supposed to skip stephen king's introductions so for now we're gonna skip we're gonna go to the first story, which is Jerusalem's Lot. Oh my gosh, my friend Brittany just texted me earlier and she said she recommends listening to the Haunting of Hill House score soundtrack thing on Spotify while reading creepy books. And I just started listening to the first intro of this and I'm already freaked out. <laughs> Love it. Definitely gonna put this on while i read well i just finished the first short story of jerusalem's lot it was 38 pages which was actually pretty long i feel like this short story did not need to be that long i think i would probably give this first short story two out of five stars because it was a lot about salem's lot which i have read salem's lot i actually really enjoyed the book salem's lot but this was just so kind of like boring and info dumpy and it was mostly told in like letters and diary kind of like format and it was just giving you a whole bunch of information about Salem's Lot and kind of about the house that the book is based on and just kind of like giving you a ton of information on like the origin story of the house and like some weird stuff that has happened at the house and it was interesting but it was mostly boring so on to the next one which is graveyard shift so i just finished the second short story in this book which is called graveyard shift and like that one was definitely a four or five star short story for me like holy shit that was terrifying like i thought i was scared of rats after i read the book 1922 which is another short story by stephen king but holy shit this was even more effective and scary than 1922 <laughs> so like wow really glad i just read that one that one was very promising and now i'm really excited 
to read the rest of these but also it's getting kind of late and i'm just like so freaking tired today like i don't know what it is it's still kind of early but the sound of the rain and just like reading this book is just making me so tired so i think i'm gonna go to bed kind of early tonight and i will read more of this tomorrow hey it's the next night since you last saw the clips from me yesterday and i haven't read anything sorry there's like <laughs> There's like flour on my shirt and it's from my mochi that I just ate. You know, the mochi dust when you eat the mochi, it just gets everywhere. But anyways, I haven't read anything since yesterday. So I'm going to lay in bed right now and read a couple, maybe a few short stories tonight. You know, I really planned on reading something today and I just didn't. I didn't read anything all day. It happens. But I'm going to read a few short stories tonight. <sighs> can you hear the wind the wind is back in full swing we did end up getting some like thunderstorms late last night like i thought we would but it wasn't until like really late in the night like 12 31 in the morning when they started and i was kind of already going to sleep by that point so i didn't really get to appreciate them and now it just says it's gonna be raining and really windy all night so whatever it's fine so just finished night surf it was only like 10 pages long and it was okay i guess um i just read on the back here that it says night surf is the basis for the stand because it's like about a virus and stuff so that's kind of interesting i guess maybe i would understand a little bit more about it if i had read the stand but it just kind of felt like it was like a scene out of like an apocalyptic story about this virus that has like taken over the world sound familiar it was kind of scary i mean i don't know it was it was all right maybe i would give that one like three stars i don't really know but i'm on to the next one okay so i just finished the story i am the door i am what is it called i am the doorway that was really good and really different for stephen king i feel like this one definitely felt more sci-fi because it was following this like astronaut that was in space and there was something very unique with him that was definitely kind of like sci-fi fantasy vibes but the way the way that this short story ended was very satisfying and there was some imagery in this short story that was very creepy and weird. So I really enjoyed this one. I would probably give this one a 4.5. This one or Graveyard Shift are my favorites so far. Oh my fucking gosh. I just finished the mangler that one was really scary <laughs> and it ended very well like maybe stephen king should stick to writing short stories because they get straight to the point and they're just creepy and effective it was really really good that one kind of like plays on my fear of like those machines like where your hand can like get stuck in it and then you could like lose a body part or potentially you could get sucked into the whole machine and the machine can just flatten you out like you're nothing and like i don't know why that's like such a weird fear of mine like ugh, the idea of like getting your finger stuck in a machine that'll like squish it like oh my god but this short story kind of takes that to an extreme and it's just really really creepy and weird and gory and just like Whoa. but it was really good it was a really good short story <laughs> I think this one might be a five star for me. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. It was creepy and it was like 20 pages long and it was perfect length. And the ending was very satisfying, which is rare for a Stephen King books, I feel like. Next up is The Boogeyman, it, which is on page 100. Let's go. Oh my god. The Boogeyman was so good. I think this one had to be five stars for me. And I'm so creeped out right now. Um, so this one is about this guy who is just fucking the worst. He's so racist, sexist, homophobic, just like the worst human piece of garbage, trash. And this whole story is about this guy that's just the worst going to a therapist or like a shrink or something. And he's telling the therapist about this story, how the boogeyman killed his three children. And the whole story, you're kind of questioning, like, is the boogeyman actually real? Or did this guy just, like, black out and murder his children? Like, oh my god, it's so creepy, dude. It's so good. It was so good. The vibes, like, this one is definitely the scariest one that I've read so far out of all of these. Like, this was truly, like, creepy and scary to me. And just, like, that first written scene describing, like, the little boy just pointing at the closet and saying boogeyman. Like, ugh fuck no dude <laughs> like i don't know why anything with like kids like that just really scares me and like now i'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because i'm gonna be staring at my closet so 
that's cool we love that good morning and last night i did manage to read gray matter and gray matter was okay i think i'm gonna give that short story like three out of five stars it was all right it was mainly like kind of like a metaphorical story about alcoholism i'm on the way to work and i'm bringing the book with me and get the starbucks drive through line right now to just pick up some food before i go into work Alright, so I'm finally on break and it has been a really slow morning so far, so I have some time to kill and I'm gonna start reading Night Shift! <laughs> So I just finished the short story Battleground and that one was very interesting and unique. It kind of reminded me of this fear that I had of like my toys when I was a kid because I watched that movie. I think it was called like Toy Soldier or something like that and that movie freaking traumatized me as a kid. And this short story kind of like plays on that fear of like your toys coming to life and trying to fucking kill you. I don't know, it's scary. It worked for me. I I think I'm gonna give this one like four out of five. I thought the ending was pretty good too. The next one is Trucks. I just made a nice coffee and I just finished Trucks. And you know, maybe I'm stupid, but I just don't understand Trucks. Like I don't really understand the premise and it, I just didn't feel a lot of feelings for it. So the short story wasn't even that long. It was like less than 15 pages and it took me so long to get through it because I was kind of bored. Ugh. Ice coffee slaps. Anyways, I think Trucks was fine. It's not very memorable for me out of all of these stories, so I think I'd end up giving it like a two out of five maybe. I don't know. But the next one is going to be Sometimes They Come Back. And I've heard that this one's one of the longer short stories in this collection, so we'll see how long it takes me to get through this one. I am home from work now. It's it's been a long it's been a long day. I had like barbecue sauce or something gross in my hair and I couldn't get it out so I had to wash my hair. Even though I just washed it the other day and I didn't want to wash it tonight cuz it's cold and it's rainy outside and now my hair is still wet. But it's fine. Everything's fine. While I was in the office, I got up to page 160, which only put me like eight pages into the next story that I started. I know I said earlier today that I was going to try to like finish the rest of this book tonight, but your girl is real freaking tired and I have nearly like almost 200 pages left of this. So like, I don't know about that, but also I don't work tomorrow until four in the afternoon. So I do have some time tomorrow morning to finish this if I don't finish it tonight. I have read three more short stories. The first one I read is Sometimes They Come Back and this one was one of the longer stories in this collection. It was like over 30 pages and it was about this like teacher who his brother was murdered when he was a teenager and it's just kind of a creepy story about figuring out like what happened and I don't know, I personally thought this story was just like a little bit too long. I mean, I know like 30 pages isn't that long, but compared to all these other stories, it just felt kind of long and like it dragged a little bit. And I do feel like the ending of this one was just kind of like underwhelming, like it was fine. So I think I'll give that one three out of five stars. And then the next one was Strawberry Spring, which this one was really interesting because it talks about Strawberry Spring, which is apparently like an Indian summer, but it's more rare. This one was a really intriguing story because it was about this like serial killer in a small town who was going around killing all these girls. I kind of found the ending of this one to be pretty predictable. Like I had assumed the ending at the very beginning of this. So that kind of like wasn't that great for me, but I really liked the vibe of this one. So I gave this one a three out of five as well. And then I just finished reading The Ledge, which this is definitely 
my favorite out of these three. I gave this one four out of five stars, I think. And this one really plays on my fear of heights because this one kind of is talking about a guy that's being forced to go out onto this tiny little ledge on this building that's only like five inches wide and he's having to like go around the ledge of the whole building. And I just feel like this one had really clever writing and clever characters and the ending was really interesting and it was short and sweet but effective and it was it was good it was creepy so now the next one i'm on to is the lawnmower man which sounds really cheesy so hopefully it isn't what the fuck did i just read i just finished the lawnmower man and i'm traumatized Okay, but seriously though, what the fuck was that? I don't know whether I should be like disturbed and disgusted or like genuinely creeped out because that was so weird. I guess this is very mild spoilers for the story, but if you don't want to know anything about the story, then fast forward a little bit. But what the heck? I just need to tell you what the story is actually about because <laughs> in this story, the lawnmower man is apparently this man that comes in like mows your lawn, but then he gets completely naked and he stands behind the lawnmower and crawls like behind it and like eats the grass that's like coming out of the lawnmower and he's just like naked crawling on the lawn and the lawnmower is like going by itself it's like a possessed crazy lawnmower thing and it's just going really fast and he's like crawling and like eating the grass the fuck <laughs> like what did i just read like how does stephen king come up with this weird shit dude um, yeah i don't even know what to rate this because i don't know what the fuck i just read i was not expecting something like that um so yeah i'm gonna take a take a minute to think about my rating on that one i don't know i'm very disturbed and that was probably the point but like but I'm very excited because the next short story is Quitters, Inc. And I've heard from so many people that this is the best short story in this whole collection. So I'm very excited to read this one. Oh, whoa, wow, 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 wow. I just finished Quitters, Inc. And that was so fucking good. That was an easy five out of five. Probably my favorite in this whole collection so far because Quitters Inc. is just like a short story about this guy who will do anything to quit smoking and I just feel like this is such a real horror for people like quitting smoking is like one of the hardest things that people can do and will do. My mom was actually a smoker for a really long time and she would smoke like two packs a day and she quit cold turkey because my mom is a freaking superhero. Oh wow, I think that quitting smoking is something that people really struggle with and this story is just so haunting and disturbing and creepy and it kind of almost felt like a Black Mirror episode to me or something. Like it just felt like this could exist in the real world and it's just really scary to think about. And I really love the little plot twist in this short story. Like it was so like, <sighs> it's just so horrible to read about but it's so interesting. And the ending, like, mmm, yikes, mmm. I don't know, I really loved it. It was really, really well done, really well written, and definitely my favorite short story so far. So, that's great. Hello, it is the next morning, and I'm sorry if the rain is really loud in the background, but it's just such a vibe. I just love it so much. It's pouring this morning. And last night, I only managed to read one more of the short stories, and it was I Know What You Need. And it was kind of a long one. It was like a little over 20 pages. And I thought it was just okay. I think I ended up giving it like a three out of five because it was this story about this guy who was like low key stalking this girl. And it was interesting while the story was in progress, but then I thought the ending was just kind of like fine. It was like mediocre. The next one is Children of the Corn. And this is another one of the ones that's kind of long. This one's exactly 30 pages. So I'm gonna be reading this one. Now I just ordered some DoorDash breakfast. So me and my sister are gonna be eating that soon. And then I will jump into the children of the corn story. Yes, 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 so much yes.
All right, well, I just finished night shift. I just read all of those last stories in one go. I was reading outside on the patio and it was quite lovely, but then the guys like right next door on the patio, they're like moving in today. And then they came and sat on a, out on the patio and it was just awkward because I could just like see them. So I came back inside, but I finished the book. I will say out of those last five stories that I just read, I didn't find any favorites out of them. First one was The Children of the Cornfield. I ended up giving that one four out of five. I thought it was really creepy and well done and it was kind of like a really gory and like graphic imagery kind of story, but it was really creepy and really well done. So that was definitely my favorite out of these five. And then the last rung of the ladder, I gave it two out of five. I just thought it was kind of boring and it's just about this girl who's like nearly falling to her death from this ladder. And then The Man Who Loved Flowers, I also gave this one two out of five. It was only six pages long, but I just thought it was kind of like boring. It's about this man getting flowers for this girl, but it's kind of mostly about how like young love is so painful. And then we have One for the Road, which this one I ended up giving three out of five. This one was really cool because it talked about Salem's Lot again. It was about these people who were like driving in this snowstorm and the snowstorm was almost kind of like pushing them in the direction of Salem's Lot. And they were talking about how like the town was like overrun by vampires and how like they don't recommend stopping in Salem's Lot. And I feel like this one would have been a really good one to end the collection with this short story because the very first short story in this whole collection was the one about Salem's Lot and then if they would have ended it with this one, I feel like it would have been like a full circle because then the last one they ended it with is The Woman in the Room and this one I'd also give three out of five, like it was okay, it was just this kind of like sad story about this mom who's dying in this hospital and she's just kind of like waiting for her death to come and it was just kind of a strange story to end this entire collection on because this story felt so different from all the other ones in the book. But overall, these stories were fine. Uh, the Children of the Cornfield was definitely the strongest for me out of these last five. But I'm just so glad that I finally finished it. Woohoo! Tanky was curled up with me during most of that second half. Oh, booty. Well, that is a wrap on Night Shift. I feel like overall, I'm probably gonna end up giving this book like four out of five stars. I feel like I was really impressed with most of the stories in this book. I honestly wasn't expecting to enjoy this book as much as I did just because I'm not much of a short story reader typically, but I feel like Stephen King might almost be better at writing short stories than full length novels because I just feel like sometimes in his full length novels he just really drags on and on and has to describe like every little thing where I feel like in a short story it just allows him to get straight to the spookiness and right to the point because you don't have a whole lot of time to drag. Down below I will put in the description like all of my individual ratings for each little story if you want to check that out but I think the ones that definitely stand out to me the most that I'm going to remember are The Mangler, The Boogeyman, Graveyard Shift, and Quitters Inc. And I think Quitters Inc. is by far the best short story in this collection and if you're going to take the time to read any of these Quitters Inc. is definitely the one that I would recommend the most. But I also just, I really did love most of the short stories in this collection and I think most of them had really cool ideas and really cool interesting concepts. And I don't know, I just thought it was a really fun time. So, so if you've read Night Shift, please let me know what are your thoughts on this book and what are your personal favorite short stories in this entire collection. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!